Oh snap diggity, four packages. Four. Yeah, I'm ready to do this. It was like 90 yesterday as well. <laughs> Freezing in our apartment. <laughs> it's getting a little, a little bit warmer here in Tucson, about 90. So Still it's much more. Weather, though. Yeah, it's, it's not in a short time yet. I got well, my crop probably, pants on though. Like, yeah. look at how much air I get from here to there. Like, yeah, that's so much cool. airflow down there. That's about as like cool as I'll get. Once it's like 110, I'll be in a tank top and yeah, <laughs> yeah, and probably in about an hour or two, it'll be considerably warmer than it is right now. It's not that warm right now. And then in the afternoon, the sun goes to the, like right in our window. Yeah, it goes to the front of our apartment. So it's like the sun's just beating on it. And so it gets, gets a little warm in there. All right, let's get our packages. All right, our apartment is quickly turning into a storage solution for the tools that we have bought online. So you might be wondering like why we got all these tools like in the mail. Like why wouldn't we just go down to like Home Depot and buy them? Something that I found that is really quite interesting is I was looking at homedepot.com and I was looking at amazon.com and just comparing the prices between the, the two websites, seeing like where would be the cheapest place to buy tools. Now the prices on amazon.com for most of these things is the exact same price as if you were to just go to the Home Depot store and just buy it. So why we ordered from Amazon is because since we have like an Amazon Associates account so we can actually earn money uh, based on promoting certain stuff so we can earn like a little bit of a, an affiliate. It's not very much, it's typically like maybe 4% or 5% or 6% of the purchase price is that we can earn back on things that are purchased through our Amazon links. And if you couple that with the fact that we have the Amazon cash back like uh, credit card, which earns us 3% back on everything that we buy through Amazon, we could be saving anywhere between seven to like 10% of the actual purchase price of anything that we buy on Amazon. So the order that I just placed for a lot of the tools and some of the things that we need for the tiny house was like about $650. So by using our own Amazon links and by using the Amazon uh, Visa card or whatever it is, we probably saved at least 50 or $60 off of all this stuff just by purchasing on Amazon. So what's crazy to me is that like, since this stuff is like, some of this stuff is like really heavy, but since it's covered under Amazon Prime, it was free shipping. So it really didn't make any difference if we purchased on Amazon or if we actually went to a Home Depot store and just purchased it um, in person. And in fact, we saved money by purchasing on Amazon. And it just seems so crazy to me coming from Canada because like this doesn't exist in Canada, anything like this. It's crazy that you can now get sh stuff shipped to your house at a lower price and you can actually buy it in stores, but it's like, it's stuff that isn't like easy to ship either. It's like really heavy stuff. Things that are like 50 or 60 pounds, but it doesn't matter because it's covered under Amazon Prime. And it's like, it's crazy. Anyways, this is kind of like Christmas for me with all these tools coming in the mail. And I'm gonna head off to the Goodwill. I'm gonna get some clothing that I'll need for the construction process. So I just got back from uh, the Goodwill and got a few pieces of clothing that I'm gonna use specifically only for uh, when I'm doing construction on the tiny house. So the crazy thing is some of these pieces of clothing are actually nicer and in better condition some, than some of my actual clothes and they're only like three or four dollars each but I guess that's kind of how it goes. A lot of people will just donate almost like essentially brand new clothes to the Goodwill just because They've never worn it and they just want to get rid of it. So so I got this t-shirt, so th this Nike t-shirt. Uh, this one here was only $4 for this t-shirt. This is nicer than most of the t-shirts that I have. Um, I actually got this Nike dry fit t-shirt. This was only uh, this was only $7, so this is another shirt that 
is like nicer than most of my shirts. I want to have a combination of like long sleeve shirts and shorter sleeve shirts. I'm worried that like if I'm going to be working outside, I don't really want to get uh, too much sun on my arms because uh, they'll probably just eventually get so burnt and I'll get such a bad farmer's tan. I want to wear some very light long sleeve shirts that, that aren't going to be very hot on my body but also provide me some protection from the sun because that is really, really important here in Tucson because the sun is really hot. I just got a pair of these band shorts. They're kind of missing the button here but that's alright because I got a belt. So the shorts... <laughs> bye bye. Relax. So I got these shorts. These are only five bucks. So they've got some pockets, they're, um, it's a pretty like light material, it's not going to be too hot. They're in pretty decent shape, they're only five bucks. It is missing the button though, which kind of sucks, so I just, uh, I just got a belt. Like, it's going to be, it's going to be pretty hot out a lot of the days, like it's going to be getting up over 100 degrees, so I don't want to be covering my body up too much with very heavy material, or else my body is going to be overheating as well. So I also wanted to get another pair of shoes, um, I didn't want to be wearing my good running shoes just because they will get totaled. Uh, during the course of construction on the tiniest. So I got another pair of shoes. These ones are only uh, $7 and you're gonna laugh at them because they've got like, they're very bright, very bright <laughs> shoes. So they've got the orange laces and like the orange inside, but these are only $7. And so this will be a nice good pair of comfortable shoes um, that I can do construction on the house with. Um, I could get steel toe shoes. Those are gonna run probably uh, anywhere between 60 to 150 dollars depending on how nice that you want to get them and I'm gonna be spending so much time in them that if I were to get steel toe shoes then you should get you know expensive ones so that they're very comfortable because the cheaper ones that I have found are just really not that comfortable when I was like an electrician it's always usually good to get the good pairs um, and I really don't want to spend $150 on a pair of safety shoes. I'm usually very careful when I'm constructing stuff anyway, so should have no issues with that. So that's what I've gotten so far for clothing, for building the tiny house and the reasoning behind it. Something else that I need to get is I need to get like a, a hat, kind of like a sun hat, um, not like a sombrero or anything like that, but something just to kind of like cover, cover my face and cover the back of my neck and my ears. I don't want to get super burnt out there because it is going to be like a full on sun most days. Anyways, alright. Right. Hannah and I are going to take the pups up to the dog park very soon. The boys are eating. Hannah's eating. She literally does the best potato fries. Like, the best. Like, look at that. They're so good. So freaking good. Good job, baby. Thank you. the dog park again. It's a big successful day with getting tools and with getting clothes and they haven't now seen me today. they haven't really seen you today other than I'm still like alive. Fries. Don't worry about it. He hasn't killed me yet. Why would I kill you? <laughs> well if I was I in the you. vlog people might be like uh, where's Hannah? Did Derek like murder her? Because you don't <laughs> obviously care if I die so. <laughs> Did you see any cock at Home Depot? Um, no, I didn't really look for any cock, but I probably need some for the tiny house. Some cock? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the next few days, um, I'm going to be focusing on designing the house and getting the layout done. So, um, maybe I'll show some video of that as well. And the program that I'm using to do it with is called SketchUp. I will uh, definitely start showing you guys some of that kind of stuff. I think it'll be pretty good. We'll see. Cool. Alright, we will catch you guys on the next vlog. Talk to you soon. Peace!